Hey everybody, hope you're doing well tonight. Um, wanted to go over what we're going to be doing for the next uh, couple of weeks. As many of you are probably aware of now, um, Governor Baker has uh, basically asked everybody to um, stay home and has closed all businesses and has uh, dropped the meeting number from uh, 25 down to 10. And so initially, uh, in reading the release, um, I was under the impression from the initial um, guidelines that were given that our lifeline would not be able to meet. However, uh, there was a revised uh, gathering order that was released. I don't know if it was released at the same time or thereafter, but, uh, and I just got up here on the computer, I'm gonna read it to you. I'm just gonna pull it up here real quick. But under section two, uh, it says that uh, churches, temples, mosques, and other places of worship shall not be required to close uh, their brick-and-mortar premises to the workers or to public. And then it goes on to say that we will have to also, uh, we can meet, but we have to remain under the 10 people. And so here's what we're going to do um, for the next two weeks uh, in response uh, to this. Uh, first off, I'm very pleased um, that Governor Baker uh, made that addendum that churches would be allowed to, to meet as long as they were under uh, the 10-person requirement. So what we're going to do is this. Uh, I've got several things to say here, so just uh, bear, bear with me. Um, Matthew talked about, or not, I'm sorry, Jesus talked about in Matthew and uh, uh, Mark and Luke as well, uh, that his house was a house of prayer. And so what I want to do is make the church house uh, a, a house of prayer. And so uh, we find that Daniel, uh, in Daniel chapter 6, verse 10, prayed three times a day. So what we're going to do is this. I'm asking everybody in our church, and of course, if you're a friend of our church, you're welcome to join in with us on this. But I'm asking the people of our church to do this. And that is to set the alarm on your phone uh, for 9 a.m. and 5 p.m. And when that alarm goes off, I want you to start, stop what you're doing, if at all possible, and have a time of prayer. Now, you can have prayer if, you, if some of you are still working. Uh, just, you know, say a quick prayer. Uh, if you're in the middle of the job, if you're at home with your family, gather your family around and have family prayer. Uh, but I want our church people praying every day, all right? Every single day, um, I want at 9 a.m. and 5 p.m., I want our church people praying. Then at 9 p.m., I will have a time of prayer via uh, Facebook Live and a devotion, as I've done uh, previously. I will do that every night, Monday through Saturday. Uh, I will do a daily devotion at 9 p.m., all right? And so that's three different times uh, that we can turn our attention to the Lord, one at 9 a.m., one at 5 p.m., and again at 9 p.m. And of course, uh, uh, if something comes up and those times don't exactly work for you, you know, look, it's not the end of the world. Move it around a little bit. Do what works for you. I want to let you know, though, that the church will be open. Uh, and it'll be open for you to go and pray there if you so choose to. And uh, anybody that wants to get out of the house and uh, go somewhere and have a time of prayer, uh, at those times or at a different time, you're more than welcome to use the church for prayer. You can go with your family. Uh, you can go with uh, maybe some of your extended family or maybe somebody that you're very close with and comfortable with. I just ask that if you are going to go to the church that you please uh, let me know you're doing that and let me know who's going. We want to make sure that no more than 10 people are there at any given time. And so please, if you're going to utilize the church for prayer, you are more than welcome to. Uh, but please let me know. So Monday through Saturday, uh, we will have prayer at uh, 9 a.m., 5 p.m., and then a 9 p.m. devotional. The church will be open at any time that you want it to be open for you, your family, or some close friends uh, that you're comfortable with to go and pray. We will not be having our normal midweek prayer meeting um, as uh, I just feel for the next two weeks that this is what we should be doing. Now, Sunday. Sunday, we will be having services. 
Okay, we will have a 9 a.m. in which I will do our Sunday school series on politics and the Bible. Then at 11 a.m. I'll have another service where I'll continue my uh, Philippians series. Sunday night we will have service at 6 p.m., which will be uh, kind of a, a miscellaneous message. We're just going to kind of bounce around. Now we're having service, but I can't really make these open. Ten people is not much. So what we're going to do is this, is, and I'm going to need you to be gracious, okay? If you are strongly desiring to come to a service, please let me know and I will do everything I can to get you to a service as soon as possible. I'm going to be reaching out to some key people because what I'd like to provide at these services are uh, obviously sound room we'll need uh, for our live stream. I'd like to have... Uh, a few congregational songs that people at home can follow along with. And we'll try to get those songs that we're going to be singing out in advance um, so that you can A, uh, pull up the words uh, online, or B, you're more than welcome to borrow a hymn book from the church and take it home with you as long as afterwards you bring it back. Uh, or C, we will uh, work uh, with Brother Roger, maybe get the, the words up on the screen if that would work well. Also, so we'll we'll be trying a couple different things to see what will work over the next uh, couple weeks. But so we're going to have sound room people. We're going to have a song leader. I'm going to have a, a you know a piano player, a guitar player, and so just doing that alone is going to take up some of the services. I mean, that's some of the people there. So it's not going to be easy for me to fit a lot of people in. So if the way I'm going to do this is if you want to come to a service, I'm going to you need to let me know. And I'll do everything I can uh, to get you in, as we'll have three different services on Sunday, which would enable uh, 30 people to attend on a Sunday. Obviously, that's uh, far less than what we've been doing. Um, but I feel on the short-term basis that this is uh, appropriate. You know, the uh, government's asking us to stay stationary, uh, to not spread this and uh, I feel like that uh, we're doing everything we can to do that, but we're also wanting to meet and have a quality product that we put online uh, for everybody. And so uh, I'll be talking with people, but I'll be looking for feedback from everybody. And um, and so you know, uh, just you know, bear bear with me. Uh, I I won't be able to get everybody that wants to go. I also uh, wanted to say. Um, that uh, uh, our online giving is up and running. Um, there are two other ways that you can give to the church um, besides the online giving, which is on our website, uh, uh, lifelinebaptistchurch.com. There's the give icon. It's pretty self-explanatory. You can also mail uh, your offering to the church. That's 14 Brandy Brow Road uh, in Haverhill, and the zip there is 01830. Um, so Lifeline Baptist Church and uh, 14 Brandy Brow Road. And I think I'll probably write that as a note. I had a question about what our mailing address was. The other option is, is if you choose to come to the church uh, to pray, we will have an offering uh, plate out there where it has been for the previous services. You could just put it in there. And so uh, between those three, uh, uh, Lord willing, uh, the church will be uh, uh, continue to, to go on uh, financially. A couple things that we could be praying about um, during this time. Well, obviously, we want to be praying about uh, this uh, epidemic, this virus, and we want to pray for the the health and wealth of I'm sorry, the healthiness of everybody, uh, and uh, that they be okay. Also, we want to be concerned about people. Uh, you could be praying about people's financial situations, as what I was saying before about wealth, but uh, uh, pray for their financial situations as people are getting laid off. And the longer this thing drags out, the more businesses may permanently close, unfortunately, and we don't want to see that. Uh, we also want to be praying for Brother Nick, um, a Community Baptist Church. The Spanish Church has uh, decided uh, to um, um, uh, move out. And so he'll be assuming that rent effective immediately. Uh, and so they're really not able to have the full services that they were hoping for. Um, but uh, so just be praying for him as he transitions over there. Uh, I trust that'll all work out. Um, and uh, we also want to be uh, praying, um, you know, that for our church. 
All right. I, I'm praying that this time would uh, stir us spiritually, and not that you know we're 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 horrible or anything like that. We're not. We're we're very good, but we can always look to improve and be better and and be more on fire with God. And some of the fringe people who very rarely come to church to to that God would just work in their heart and that they would see the need to be there and and that. Uh, you know, that our teenagers would continue to grow in their love for God and that parents would be uh, promoting that in an appropriate way and and that we could be just praying that uh, new people would come once this dies down, that we would uh, see an influx of visitors and souls getting saved. And th- there's so much that we can be praying about in this time. I know that this is uh, an atypical approach, but it's the uh, approach I feel that it's appropriate right now that we really need to go to prayer as families, as individuals, as friends. Uh, use the church, uh, and, and and if nest, you know, if you need to, if you want to, uh, if you want to just get the kids out of the house and go somewhere for a little bit, it, it, whatever. But we need to pray. We need to pray that God would use this because I am convinced that people are going to get tired of being home. And I'm praying that they'll pick up the Bible and that they'll begin to read the Bible and see what God has for them. And and maybe even you who are saved, maybe your Bible reading's a little bit lax. Maybe your study of the Scripture is not what it ought to be. And you know that. May this be a time where you reacquaint yourself with the Word of God and that you uh, uh, allow God to speak to your heart. I'm hopeful that this time, although difficult, uh, will be profitable and, and, and that people would grow in their relationship with the Lord. I'm praying for you. I'm praying that everybody stay healthy. I'm praying that no one we know is affected with the coronavirus. I'm praying for our governmental leaders that they be able to make the wisest decisions, uh, uh, for us. And, uh, Lord, uh, the Lord knows that this was not, um, my original plan, but like I told you before in church, I doubted that my original plan was going to work, and and this is what I came up with from God, and uh, I'm thankful for that. And so, look, if you have any questions, let me know. If you're going to go to the church to pray, let me know. If you're desiring to come to a Sunday service, let me know. I'll also be calling people. Um, my goal is to uh, make a phone call, not just a text, but a phone call to everybody, every family in the church and check on them, see how they're doing, uh, to have prayer with them, uh, if possible, to have family prayer with them over the phone, just to pray for their family. I won't keep you all night, but, uh, you know, beginning, you know, tomorrow, uh, and Wednesday, I'm going to begin to this week. My goal is to reach out to everybody to check on them. Uh, there are some people that are, uh, in, in need of a few things. Thank you for letting me, us know, uh, we're going to get on that tomorrow and get some, some supplies out to people that need it. If you need it, let us know. If you don't, uh, uh, don't don't take it. But if you need it, we'll give it. So I uh, just want to thank you for tuning in for a little bit tonight. That That's really no real devotional. I just wanted to kind of lay out my plan. And really, we, we need to be praying. I feel that that is the uh, emphasis of this time and Hopefully it's just two weeks and goes no longer. But if you have any questions about the things I've said, I'm available for you. I'd be more than happy to speak with you. Lord bless you. Have a great night. Uh, be safe. And I'll be back on tomorrow around this time. Take care. Bye.